Hi, it's Mr. C from Devi Den. We are doing the Divi Layer Kits content modules in this video. This is part of the Unicorn Bundle. Let's have a quick look and see what we got. We got 14 modules, which will be really handy to add content components to your websites that you built for your clients or for yourself. Um, let's have a look and see it's all nicely responsive. There's some nice uh, CSS actions on them, little animations. Of course, it's in Divi, so you can import it really fast. You can change it very easily, update it, etc. with your new text or new images and so forth. Right, so let's continue onwards. Uh, first thing we want to do is just take a look inside the zip files and see what we've got. So we've got as part of the content Divi layout kit, you've got the master JSON import, which imports all 14 modules in one go. There's also the CSS that goes with it. Uh, in addition, we've split it out into one to 14. Maybe you just want, you know, for example, number eight of 14 over here, you just want to import that into a client website or any particular website. Uh, so you don't have to import all of them you can just import the one that you need and grab the CSS that you need. So let's go back. In the zip file, we also have code for the functions.php, which we need to add for, it's a little email short code, which is important to protect your email addresses from spam bots grabbing it off the page. Then we also have the uh, Adobe Photoshop file, which allows you to edit these in detail, if that's what you want. Um, I think that about wraps it up. So uh, let's get started. Let's go to the site and then Divi, Divi library, import, export, import again, choose the file. Let's navigate to the master, import all of them. Click the import button, wait for it to do its thing. And then while it imports, we can just wait for it to load. There we go. So we have one of 14 all ready to be installed on a page. So uh, let's go with number seven of 14, uh, just as a sample. I'm just going to copy that. Then we want to go to pages. Let's create a new page call this test 14 and 7 let's click use the Divi Builder there we go and then I'm gonna choose a blank page template there's no header and footer on these blank page templates so it's easy for me to show you how it works uh, then we want to do add from library and we were 7 of 14 so let's install that guy and let's publish then we can go and take a look see what it looks like there it is but you can see there's no formatting there's no rollovers and that's because we need to add the css style so let's go and add some styles normally you would just go to divi divi library i mean divi theme options uh, and then you can scroll to the bottom there's a custom css section that we have then we're going to go to our zip file once more. We're going to grab the master content Divi layout CSS. Open that in your favorite text editor. Uh, and then we can just grab this content over here. Um, before we finish up with that, we need to add the link for the fonts. It's a font awesome. And I'll show you where to install that in just a moment. Uh, so let's just grab all of this first and add the CSS. Control A, Control C. Let's add that in. There we go. Let's save changes. Now for the next thing, in order for the icons to show properly um, and scale properly, depending on how you want to use it, you want to grab this link here. It's the opening tag and the closing tag there and copy that you'll see this in your css file it says find awesome code to add to divi theme options integration add code so i'm going to show you where to add that then so i've copied that 
then what we want to do is just go to Divi theme options integration scroll down to add code to the head of your blog paste that in there and then you can just hit save changes one other thing we want to do before we finish up and look at the page we just want to go and add the code for the functions.php normally you would go appearance editor as i'm doing here and then you go to child theme uh, theme functions if this option appearance editor is not visible in your dashboard you either have a security plugin installed which blocks that option from being available or you have managed hosting like wp engine etc they will block that option from being available for security reasons if that's the case just log in via ftp and then navigate to your child theme and find the functions.php file and add the code there so we are here let's go back to our zip file uh, let's go and look at the functions.php code so let's open that there it is so this is the anti-spam email short code basically if you wrap in this little short code yeah you can see it uh, opening bracket closing bracket email and then uh, opening bracket forward slash email closing bracket if you wrap any email address inside the content of your website with those two short codes what will happen is it will prevent spam bots from grabbing your email address so that's that's quite handy let's just copy this control copy you can use this in any of your websites if you want uh, feel free to do that that's a code from wordpress so let's click away here and then again i'm under appearance editor theme functions and then we want to add it right before the closing tag there paste there it is in uh, always make sure that there's no extra spaces below your closing tag in the functions.php file otherwise your site won't load let's hit update there we go that's updated now we've added the css we've added the font awesome code um, to the header we have done the functions.php code and now we can go and take a look at the page so i've switched to that page we can just do control f5 let's reload and there you can see all our styles are there and it's 100 percent responsive excellent so one more thing you'd probably want to do is you you may want to change these colors uh, or those colors over there and there's an easy way for you to do it so basically you would just go to your master file or any of the css files that you have you are going to search for the default red which we've used throughout the entire um, divi unicorn bundle and uh, that makes it easy for you to find and replace any colors and update them so first step would be to update the css with the new color that you want the second step would be to go into the module itself and just confirm that there's no styles there it's not always uh, possible to only update it in the css code sometimes we've we've put it inside the module itself just because it makes it easier for some people or it's n not possible to do it any other way so you have to do it that way so let's go ahead and change the color here you'll notice in the top we've got some comments here on line five it says default red color to replace anywhere inside the css so i've chosen the divi purple that we're going to replace just as an example so you want to search for the red here it's hash cc0033 so we go control find replace yes we want to find that color we want to replace it with this divi purple and that's it then we go just replace this one yes it looks good and then we can replace all and then we can just go out we can copy all of this once more now that we've changed the colors then we can go back to the site so divi theme options and then go to the custom css code over there Control A, just delete all of that, 
paste it back in again with the new color change there we go and now we can go to the sample page and in theory these colors would have changed if they haven't that means we need to go and look at the module which we're going to do anyway so control f5 let's see that as you can see ah, there we go there's a little something that changed the purple uh, so the rest we would need to do in the module itself so let's go to edit page and then we want to go and look at these modules to change the individual components so let's look at welcome here you just scan through it and look for that red color which we had before there we go there we can see it and you can see it's hash cc0033 i've got the divi color all whoops i don't one second let me just grab it so that's the divi color over here copy and then we want to go and just change that one over there as you can see it changed nicely and then just look through the content the design and advanced make sure that there's no colors uh, available there okay none and make sure that you change all of them so let's go to this one see if there's any design you can just scan through it quickly and you'll spot the red quite comfortably there we go no nothing there save and exit let's go to these guys there we go nothing 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 and no colors there either let's do the read more so this will be different for each of the modules some of them will have it some won't it depends on the need there we go there you can see the colors uh, border color some of these you might want to keep the same uh, some of them you might want to change slightly so I'm not sure what these are going to look like if I actually change them uh, it might not work that well but uh, let's do it anyway uh, you will need to experiment yourself and find what works for you being the designer okay so advanced so one more look I'm going quite fast here but I think the same principle applies so I'm just trying to show you how to do it and there we go and button text button border color mm, we have a few so uh, let's just make this color I don't know let's just leave it the same I don't want to change it but you can change it very easily to the color that you choose you'll just need to experiment to get it 100% right so save that one let's have one last look on the text no i don't think this is relevant in this case advanced as you can see i've clicked through all the settings now we can just update the page who knows what it's going to look like but i've shown you how to do it so let me just do a good page refresh here there we go as you can see this was the particular one that i didn't change because i wasn't sure what it was going to look like but as you can see we've changed the colors quite comfortably and it's a hundred percent responsive the colors are there too great there we go so that is how you do the content dv layout kit how you update the styles add the functions.php code add the font code for the font awesome which is important don't forget that one otherwise you won't see the little icons that wraps up this video thanks for watching